guys! So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you on this kind of glamorous holiday party kind of look. Um, I have it paired right now with just a pale pink color, but I'm also going to show you two other lip colors that you can put with this look to make it even more dramatic for a holiday party. So we're going to be using um, the Lorac Pro Mega Lorac Mega Pro, I don't know how you say it. Either way, it's the Mega Pro something or other um, palette by Lorac, and it has all of these amazing colors in it. So we're going to be using just this palette, um, but the colors we're using are also very versatile, so you can definitely find them anywhere. It doesn't have to be this palette. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing is using a MAC um, concealer just to use as a primer on the lids. So I'm just going to pat that on my lids all over the place. And this is going to help keep our shadows on and just really help um, with creasing and help our colors look really nice and vibrant. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing here is using a white eyeliner just to um, completely cover my lid. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be using a white shadow on the lids and I just really want it to be pretty vibrant and, um, you know, opaque looking. Sometimes when you use a white shadow, it can just kind of disappear on the lids. So that's why I am just using a white eyeliner first. Okay, and then we're going in with the Lorac palette in the color Opal. It's on the left there, and this is just a matte white shade. It's not a bright white. It's kind of an off-white, um, but I really like it because it's not super shimmery. Um, we're going to be using a lot of shimmer in other areas, so I don't want it to be all over the lid. So I'm just packing this on. I'm staying right on that lid area. Okay, so the next color I'm using is Stone. It's kind of that gray, matte gray shade. And I am just going to put this in the crease. Now, it doesn't have to be super clean or anything because we are going to be cleaning up those edges. So um, you don't have to worry about being super precise. That's why I only put a little bit of foundation on. Um, I haven't actually done my whole complexion yet. So that way we can clean up our mess. So anyways, I'm just using a kind of a thinner crease brush just to focus this in that crease area. I'm trying to keep it off of the lid because I'm wanting to keep most of that lid that white shade. And you can see I'm coming in again with that white shade and just kind of cleaning up any of the gray that came down there in the lid. Okay, now I am taking um, kind of a smaller crease brush and I'm taking that same stone shade and I'm just putting that in the outer corner and just kind of blending it in. We're working gradually um, with these colors. We're going to be darkening it up a little bit more, but I just want to start with the gray shade so that I have kind of a base color. Okay, the next shade I'll be using is Espresso. It's in that top right corner. It's just a matte brown shade. And I'm using um, a kind of a thinner crease brush. That way when I'm putting it in, it's really precise and it's placing it exactly where I want it, which is right in that crease, um, not on the lid. So I'm just going in with that and blending back and forth. And then I'm gonna come down and kind of pack that in on the outer corner as well. And I'm coming in with a little bit more of that dark espresso shade just because I didn't get quite enough, quite as dark as I wanted. So I just am coming in with a little more of that and then taking my fluffier crease brush again and just kind of blending everything out. This look is going to have a lot of blending in it, so just get ready. All right, now I'm going to be going in with, again, that same white shade on just a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to be packing that all over the lid once again just to kind of clean up that area. I just really want it to be crisp white on the lid and then just kind of a cut crease but not really um, in the crease area. So it's not quite as harsh as a cut crease would be, um, kind of more of a blended out cut crease, I guess you could call it. 
So I'm just continuing to go in with a little bit more of the gray um, just to kind of help me blend all of that out. Okay, again, I'm going to be going in with Espresso, except this time I'm going to be putting it on a eyeliner brush, actually. And this is just going to help me get a really super precise um, application of that shadow color. So again, to make this more of a kind of a cut crease look, I'm just putting in more of that dark shade um, right in that crease area and then blending it out. Okay, now I'm going in with Vanilla, which is on that bottom left corner, and this is just my highlight shade that I use almost every single day. I love it. And I'm just going to pop it on that brow bone, and then I'm also going to be putting it in the inner corner of the eyes and that bottom um, I'm not going to do the bottom lash line quite yet because I haven't finished my complexion, but that is where we'll be putting that shade as well when we're there. Okay, now I'm just using a makeup wipe to clean up those edges. And I'm going back in with a little bit more of that um, gray color that we used, stone. And I'm just kind of darkening up that crease area just a little bit more. Okay, so now it's time for a liner, and I am using my NARS Gel Liner in Black Valley, and I'm just going to do my liner as always. Okay, now I finished my complexion. I didn't show it on camera just so this video wouldn't be super long, um, but I do it the same as always, pretty much. Um, so now I'm going in with that vanilla shade again and just popping that in the inner corner a little bit more to make it even brighter. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom lash line just to make my eyes pop and look nice and bright and awake. Okay, so I apologize. This footage got destroyed somehow. So this bottom um, lash line technique that I'm doing, um, you didn't see the first part, but I just did this with the slate color, the gray. Um, but I'm going in again doing the same exact thing, so you'll be able to see exactly what I did. This is actually um, something I learned from one of Jaclyn Hill's recent videos. Um, so this time you can see I'm just using an angled eyeliner brush and I'm going in with a darker shade, um, that espresso shade actually, and I'm just kind of going right straight across that tear duct on the bottom. So um, instead of you know following my bottom lash line with the shadow all the way up into that inner corner, I'm just basically taking it out straight instead. And this just kind of gives you a different look. It's it's a little bit different and I don't really do it ever, but um, I watched that video of hers and I loved how it looked, so I just thought I would try it and I really liked it. 
So I'm taking a pencil brush and just kind of blending all those colors out underneath um, the lash line. And now I'm going to be putting my nude liner from Sephora in my bottom waterline. And this is going to, again, help to just open up the eyes and make you look nice and bright and awake. And now I'm just um, kind of adding a little bit more of that vanilla shade onto the brow bone. And again, I'm going in with a little bit more of that um, opal shade that we used at first and just popping it right onto that lid again, just to make sure it's nice and, and light so that nothing, um, you know, fell onto the lid or anything like that. We're just kind of cleaning that up. And now for mascara, I'm using, of course, my Smashbox Full Exposure. Okay, now for the fun part, the lip colors. The first one that I did, um, I used an OCC lip liner. I can't remember the name, but I used a Milani um, lip color in Dark Cherry. And this is what that one looks like. It's just really vixeny and dark, and I just love it for the winter. And the next one I did was a Bite Beauty um, lipstick called Tannin, and then the Marc Jacobs Red Lip Gloss over top. And this one was my favorite. I just love the bright red. It's so, just reminds me of the holidays. It's so pretty. And then the last one I did was just more of a natural look. I did MAC Cream Cup. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing holiday looks. They're just so pretty and definitely pairing it with different lip colors can help you change up the look. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.